They called him the Galveston Giant. Famed boxer Jack Johnson was the first African-American heavyweight champion. Now there's a new play about his life at UCLA's Schoenberg Hall. It's called Ghost in the House. Actor Tony Todd, best known for Candyman movies, in the lead role. You're working yeah. it right now. You're getting ready to open the show. Yeah. Um, and we were just talking off camera here. What an interesting life. One that I'm sure that a lot of people uh, of this age don't really aren't really familiar with. No, that's why we're trying to, to drum up fire under this man's life. I mean, he spoke five different languages. Was a Renaissance man, military spy in World War One. I. I mean, yeah, what, he was driver. he was a race car driver, yeah, a yeah. horse jockey, a bullfighter. Yeah, horse jockey. Can you imagine that in this height? I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> that was the yeah, really, off that, that was the a little bit of a life. sell there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so did. this is this is some video right here that we have of it, but. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Not the show, of course. No, no. Of, of, uh, That's some from the famous uh, Tommy Burns fight when yeah. he was first won his first heavyweight championship. And you say he was the he was the most famous African American in the yeah. world at the time. Most photographed. Most, most photographed. So, period. So, African American, white, otherwise. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Amazing. He loved the camera. He loved. He was a showman. He was a musician. You know, a nightclub owner. Considering he was coming out of, he was born shortly after the Civil War. Exactly. You say Both his parents, parents were slaves. slaves. Right. Um, this is, of course, a very turbulent time for African Americans. Turbulent time for the whole country. It was an agitated period in history. Is, is and this is the person that was the, the sort of the, the pinnacle, the point of it. Yeah, yeah. He traveled the world. And when he won his heavyweight title against Jim Jeffries, who mm -hmm. was quote unquote the Great White Hope, they had to find a way to take his title away. So he was forced to go into exile for seven years, traveled to Europe, invented uh, certain. Uh, new ways of technology and, and had to learn the language. He then returned home. Jack Dempsey, who was a heavyweight champion by the time he returned, refused to fight him. And uh, so he, he had his last fight when he was 62 years old. It's amazing. Amazing. 62. And won. Tell me, <laughs> that's, that's even more amazing. Yeah, Tell that. me this, as an African American playing this role, oh. does it get, you know, and I know that we have some video of the rehearsals yeah. of this, does it ever get emotional for you? Is it, is it tough just because of the The whole story is emotional. The fact that, I mean, he dies alone. Die. He died of a car well, accident in, uh, when he was 68 years old. And he was racing away from a diner that refused to serve him still in 1947. And so the man was always searching for his legacy. He was a fearless man who wanted his legacy to be left for people to learn lessons from, to live life on their own terms. We have an amazing cast, Eileen Shu, who's a terrific violinist, and uh, pianist uh, Kincaid Walker, uh -huh. and Deanna and Nicole Baxter are the women that sort of drift in and out of his life and uh, support his story. Fantastic, and the yeah. theater scene here, just supporting what a great theater scene we have here in, in Los Angeles. Oh my God, it just looks be able like to do this. And we're gonna be traveling the country and heading to Broadway. And uh, you know, fortunately my day job allows me to, to do that. This. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That. So Tony, thank you day. so much, man. Thank you for uh, You can us. catch Ghost in the House tomorrow through Sunday at Schoenberg's, uh, Schoenberg Hall at UCLA. For more information, get some tickets uh, and more about Tony Todd and the play. Just head to our website, kcal9.com and click on Scene on TV. I think it's going to be just fantastic.